Today I'll be showing you five different ways of wearing one lipstick. Now um, you can be very creative and try different techniques on how to use the same lipstick in different ways. So uh, for now I'll be showing you uh, one lipstick in five different ways. So one would be as um, a dab like a stain onto the lips, the second would be like a blush, the third would be using a lip brush, the fourth would be to blotting it off with a little bit of powder to make it feel a little velvety and the last and final would be uh, using a lip gloss over it. So to start off, uh, I have already used a little bit of a foundation on Vibha's face and a, a very simple shimmery kind of an eyeshadow with a little bit of a brown on the crease. Nothing very, very elaborate because again for now the focus feature for us are the lips. So I'll just be using a colour which looks like this. So this is a, a MAC palette which a very good friend had gifted me. Um, it is not from India, it was from abroad. So these might not be available now but any colour which is similar to this, this is a very pretty wine, wineish kind of a berry shade. The first way to wear it would be just staining your lips. So just taking a little bit of the colour on the finger and just dabbing it onto the lips to just give it a slight stain so that it does not look too overdone. So it should just look like you've had maybe a glass of wine or you've just sucked into a lot of blueberries. Um, so it should not look very obvious and prominent. So this is way one. The second way to applying the same lipstick would be using it as a cream blush. Now just take the ring finger with a little bit of colour and apply it just around the cheek area and just blend it downwards. Now this will give a very beautiful pinkish purplish kind of a shade which can be worn during the day as well as in the night. Intensify it if you are intending to wear it for the night time. Matching lips and cheeks would look very pretty. Like it would look along the same lines of your lipstick. So that an overall effect looks very good. And you, don't, you do not need to overdo it because your cheeks generally tend have to look lighter compared to your lips. In case if you have a little bit of scars or acne around your cheek area, I would strongly recommend staying away from shimmer blushes because anything that's shiny would, would bring a lot of focus exactly over there. So in case if you have acne and you do want to use blush, go in for shades in pink or even peach for that matter. But make sure that they do not have shine and they're mostly in a matte texture. Now the third way of using your same lipstick would be with the help of a lip brush and dabbing on a lot of product for that matter. So taking your lip brush and using, dipping it into your lip colour. The third way which is this would be layering on the exact same wine colour and making it extremely dark. So um, this again is beautiful if you're wearing it in the nights with anything that is maybe a red dress or a black or anything that you feel is similar in the same family would work very well. Now the next way of wearing your same lipstick would be to blot off the same lipstick that we've applied. This almost gives a very velvety feel to the lips. Now after this is done, all you need to do is take a tissue, keep it on your lips and apply a little bit of loose powder. Blotting the lips and this is going to stay for very long. Now 
and also it will take off any excess product on your lips and it will make it extremely velvety rather than giving it a very plain mattish kind of a look. Now the last way of wearing the lipstick would be with a lip gloss. I'm using the MAC Dazzle Glass in the shade called Sugar Rim. This is in their regular line. For the lip gloss, just take a little bit on, if it's your product, you can use it directly. But I've, I've taken a little bit on my hand and I'm using it with the same lip brush and generously giving it a coat over the lipstick. Now this lip gloss has a lot of shine in case if you want to stay away from shine you can just use a regular very non shimmery lip gloss. I personally love a lip which has a lot of gloss on it but the only problem is that if you tend to eat or drink something it would um, tend to run again. So this is something which you would want to um, Save it for like a very big occasion, like a big function, so that it stays put the way it is. And um, the the way we use it as a blush, you get cream blushes in the market. So it, the lipstick would behave exactly the same way because lipsticks are meant to be creamy. Uh, do not try using a matte uh, lip lipstick as a blush because you would go on rubbing and you would harm your skin again. So. These were the five different ways of wearing a lipstick. I hope you've liked it. Uh, you can choose any color. Any color would look nice. A pink, a beautiful pink would also look very pretty because it looks lovely as a blush too. And topped over with a gloss would look even better. But uh, I just feel that a lot of people do not pay a lot of attention to a color like wine. Um, I feel personally that Wine is something which would go on majority of your clothes and it's such a different colour that a lot of people still haven't uh, gone out and thought that a colour like this would look nice. Uh, in case if you have any comments or recommendations on what you would like to see, what you'd like me to do, do go ahead and let me know. And I will be back soon with another important tutorial for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.